Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, and let's get it straight into your reading. Let's pull your first oracle card. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. I've got igniting courage. I am strong, valiant and courageous. This person is leaping over a boundary or an obstacle as well. So, yeah, it feels very beautiful there, Virgo. Okay, message for Virgo, please, angels, for May 2021. And what do we have for Virgo? Okay, yeah, so we have If You Believe. And there's definitely an energy of the symbol of creation there, Um Looks like Archangel Metatron, symbol of creation, um, creating something. Feels like something new here. If you really believe that you can do it, there is definitely an energy of it happening, it being manifested. So let's pull some cards and see what we get. I pull four cards, as you know by now. Roughly works out as one card per week, Virgo, though divine timing and all that. People are at different life stages, but the message remains the same. Then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, I'm going to shuffle one more time. Okay, message for Virgo, please, angel spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Virgos, thank you, May 2021. Okay, I'm just going to take the one that's turned up. <laughs> Okay, Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles, that can be you or somebody in your life, the Empress, and Virgo, finally we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, message for Virgo please, angels. <clears throat> Spirit's Guide, message for Virgo. Message for Virgo, thank you. <clears throat> what do we have for Virgo, thank you, May 2021? Can we clarify the cards on the table, thank you, for Virgo. Thank you. The Tower. Uh, Queen of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, certainly your energy, Virgo. And we have the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. Okay. I'm going to pull some clarifiers. Let's clarify this tower. Let's clarify this tower, please. Angels, spirits, guides. <clears throat> Let's clarify this tower for Virgo, please. Yeah, we have the world. I'm going to pull one for the King of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles and one for the Queen of Wands, which is the Sun. And let's do the Empress. Six of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords, Nine of Wands. I'm going to pull one more for that one. And the Lovers. In the bottom of that deck, I have the Four of Wands here, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. It feels that you're being offered something, and it definitely feels big. 
it feels a big change for you. The Knights bring change. Interestingly enough, you're being told to be courageous, find your strength. Realise, you know, courage exists when we find fear, um, ad when we face fear, adversity. It definitely feels for some of you there are, um, there may well be some fear that you're experiencing or uh, reticence. I mean, there's levels to that word, but it, it definitely feels in the energy. There is some big change coming your way, completion of one cycle and stepping into another by some life changing offer or opportunity. But it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Um, and, you, you know, the tower energy is the tearing down of the old tower in order to rebuild the new one. And here we have the opportunity of rebuilding a new tower with somebody. So it feels some of you, somebody may be asking you to move in with them or there could be some offer. Um, it definitely feels in this energy, Virgo. There is some offer and opportunity. They're offering stability, security, safety, uh, something solid. I mean, there's definitely an energy if they mean what they say here. So it's a lovely energy of, it feels like, it definitely feels in this instance, I mean, this could be a new relationship, but it feels in this instance it's an existing one. Um, and definitely getting this energy because you've already got history with them. I mean, it, like I said, for some of you, it feels that if you're building something solid, stable, secure, it could be a new relationship, but it feels for the majority of you, this is a relationship that you're already in, that somebody is asking you to go to the next level of commitment. Now, that could be marriage, that could be uh, moving in together, you know, that it feels like you have common values, common goals. And you have the opportunity to build something solid, stable, secure. You make a good team. You know, it, it feels very beautiful. Um, you know, this can actually be doing up a home or, you know, moving into a home. And the sun is just such a feel-good energy, celebration, joy. The Queen of Wands is somebody, you might be dealing with an Aries. I mean, we've got Taurus here as well, or Pisces. So those are signs in this reading. Um, Gemini at the end too. But, you know, the Queen of Wands is somebody who intuitively takes action on what feels right. She lets her instinct guide her action. And there's definitely an energy of this is absolutely something that you want to take action towards because there's growth. This is a card of good news, celebration, joy, happiness. Real growth, success available to you. Um, being aligned to the path that you're absolutely meant to be on. But also being very clear in terms of the actions, decisions that you want to make. So it's a lovely, lovely energy. It just feels a very nice, beautiful, blessed energy. So the Six of Pentacles can be somebody reaching out, offering you something. The, the Empress, interestingly enough, is very much to do with that symbol of creation because she is all about creating something new. She can represent pregnancy, love, next level love, um, or new love, romance relationships. She's very good in terms of money and career as well. But it feels in this context, I mean, there is somebody making you an offer and this is new abundance where you feel fulfilled, where you have the opportunity. There is definitely an energy here. For here. There's a promise of something wonderful. Um, the, the soil is ready for the seeds to be planted. Now is the time to plant new seeds for your future. And it definitely feels for some of you. I mean, it might well be that you're making plans for a family as well, because, you know, I've got the child here. I've got the home here. It could well be that you're considering, you know, pregnancy um having children and it feels like the time is right definitely but it, i'm definitely getting this energy of somebody offering you this new abundance to create something new um and i'm definitely getting 
it feels in this energy it's to do with love, romance, relationships. I mean, some of these pentacles energies uh, are okay in terms of career as well. But I'm definitely getting the pentacles energy can be to do with our foundational relationships, people we build our lives around. It can be to do with our money and career. It can be to do with our health or property. So for some of you, I'm definitely getting there is absolutely everything is ready for you to receive, you know, for you to receive this gift that the universe wants to bring into you. Um, yeah, it just feels absolutely beautiful. There seems to be, there seems to be something weighing, you're weighing something up here Virgo, because the Four of Cups can be a divine nudge energy. It's, you're being given intuitively the direction that you need to follow. Um, so giving something some deep thought, weighing something up. It feels like there's a choice between two paths, two options, maybe to stay on the path that you're on or to actually take this offer and go for it. It definitely feels like this energy. I'm just getting this energy of weighing it up, um, giving something some deep thought. Uh, because, you know, the, the lovers can be a choice. And it, interestingly enough, the, the Nine of Wands, um, the Moon in Sagittarius, it's interesting because there could be holding back you know again this two of swords not having the clarity not being able to make a decision um for whatever reason not being ready to make some kind of decision or choice it feels in this energy with this nine of wands there is some kind of choice to be made and it feels to do with love romance relationships here but this Nine of Wands can be, it can represent some kind of a journey that might have been difficult here. Um, but it can also be, it can be a card of courage and persistence. It's that moon energy, and I'm seeing the moon energy here as well, where there is definitely some there is definitely some kind of offer here with the page of cups. Somebody's making you an offer, and the pages represent is a message of love. Uh, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. It's echoing exactly what that Knight of Cups is bringing into you, the change. But there is a choice to be making. It feels like somebody's holding back. Either you're holding back or someone's holding back until they're clear. It just feels like you're weighing up your options and giving some deep thought to a situation. But there's definitely some kind of message of love. And there's, there's a message of if you 110% believe in this, then the Empress is saying now is the time to go for it. If you're 110% for this, is it your own fear, doubt, insecurities that are holding you back? Because that can be the moon energy in both of the Two of Swords and the Nine of Wands. There's moon energy in both of those, you know, the lack of clarity from fear or doubt or uncertainty, you know. But I definitely see, you know, the Four of Wands is a card of... It feels in this situation a committed relationship setting up home together this is the happy home energy so there is a choice to make it doesn't feel it feels like there's some fear or doubt or uncertainty I mean it could well be because of past experience call it what you will um, but the message is real abundance is available to you Virgo um, there is definitely somebody making you an offer or you're making them an offer. It feels in this situation, if there's lack of clarity or doubt, there's definitely a confirmation from spirit that the 1111 card is a blessing. You know, it's a blessed energy. Um, you're being sent signs, symbols, messages from people you've lost to the other side, the universe, angel, spirit. So certainly be aware of reading signs, symbols, messages this month. But this is a card of celebration, joy, happiness, setting up home with somebody. So it definitely feels in this energy that 
even though there is some decision to make. It feels between the partnership of these two, there is no obstacle represented by that mountain, which can mean a number of things, but it feels that there's no obstacle you can't overcome. If there has been a test of a relationship, um, there is definitely an energy that this is something that you can overcome and put behind you, but obviously won't resonate with everybody. But I mean, that could be something externally affecting your relationship or something within the relationship. But there's definitely an energy of achieving the solid four walls of the four of wands again. So the happy home, you know, it feels very beautiful, but it feels in this aspect, there's just some reservation in terms of making some kind of decision or choice. And sometimes this is about waiting until things become clear, until you're clear. Give something some deep thought, weigh up your options and see which way you want to go. But it feels, certainly the cards are saying, you know, find your courage, your strength, because there is definitely this new creation available to you. Lovely energy. Feels very beautiful. Okay, what do we have as a final message for Virgo, please? Final message for Virgo. It feels like someone's asking for the next level of commitment here. Yeah, <laughs> pure intention. And it definitely feels that that's what you need to get clarity on towards the end of this reading. Um, pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention for the highest good of all. Yeah. This is about acting on your instinct. If you act on your instinct, you won't go wrong. Yeah, lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Virgo, and I will see you next time. Thank you.